Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you are in the world, depending on where you are in the world and depending on when you get to see this post. Good morning, Spartans, how are you doing? I hope you are doing fine. So anyway, like I said, I just decided to do this post quickly, otherwise I, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't, I just wouldn't do it. I just wouldn't do it because I'm just really fed up. I'm so fed up with people right now to the extent that I can't even express how fed up I am with human beings. So let me just do this video quickly anyway. So I did my nails. The reason why, like I said at the top, I came to do the video because I did say I was going to talk about the nails that I do. I do them for my, I've decided to just do my nails for myself because that is better for me. And I also said in one of my other videos that I just learned at some point, I think it was in my, either my late 20s, either my late, my late 20s or my early 30s, I just started doing things for myself because I always used to say to myself, what if I find myself in a position where, you know, I can't find anybody to do the things for me and those days i used to be broke a lot all the time you know how it is i was just buying 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 just buying things and in those days i used to buy really really expensive things i used to like buy brand names listen like any nigerian 30 year old at that time you know all i was thinking about is you know i gotta look good i gotta look good and i was spending this money spending this money and obviously we are, we are encouraged as well. We're encouraged to look good, you know. So I was investing in clothes. So anyway, if you want me to talk more about that, I can talk about my past without talking about the terrible things that happened in my past. If I talk about my past, obviously I am speaking about it so that, you know, I can impart some knowledge to somebody somewhere. Everything as everything happens as god wants it because i just ask him to guide me in everything that i do as i'm sitting here now i don't have gas i actually thought to myself i'm just gonna pop out and get some gas but here i am doing this video for you guys so guys let me put my glasses on and then i'll just uh, i'll just speak you through the nails in case you decide you want to get the nails for yourself if you're somebody like me who prefers to just do things for themselves i know that there are a lot of girls like that i mean some people are of the school of thought that you know if you you have to be bougie you've actually got to go to the salon listen i'm not saying this to spoil anybody's business but i would say before you even leave your house just pray if you don't know how to pray, just say the Lord's Prayer because you don't know what is waiting for you in the road and you don't know what you're going to meet in the streets, you know, because obviously, just like at the beginning of this video, when I just threw the thing, it's all energy, isn't it? You don't know the energy that we're carrying. You don't know what's happened to the person that day. You don't know what kind of mood they're in. You know, you don't know if they're in a good mood or a bad mood and it all circulates its aura it affects all of us so guys my advice to you guys would be regardless of what it is you decide to do pray so i learned how to do a lot of things for myself it's good even if you listen you learn how to do things for yourself you never know 
appointment come in your life where you'd actually have to use those skills to earn money yeah. as i am now if i decide i want to go professional with any of the skills that i've learned i can do so so guys if you like the content please like comment and subscribe turn on your notification bell is it a bell or is it a button you know what i mean turn on the notification so that you get alerted anytime i upload videos so if you're new to my channel if you're a brand new sparta if you don't know what i'm about it's about lifestyle it's about living your best life and it's about me just sharing with you things that i have learned along the way and that's it things that work for me things that i like i have a bit of fun i do a bit of dancing you know etc 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 hopefully at some point i'll actually be in a space where i can actually get to read all of my books because some people might be wondering what is it with all of the books i love books i really really do i love books i love reading it's something that i used to do a lot when i was younger but then i found myself in a position where i can't even actually get to read my books you know in peace and quiet so that's why I've just been accumulating them because I know that a time will come where I'll just be somewhere where I can just relax and just read my books in peace and quiet. Definitely it will happen because man is not God. Man is not God. You know, regardless of what people do, regardless of what people say, regardless of what they think, man is not God. God is supreme. Mm -hmm. So... One day, I will get to read all of the books that I have been accumulating. The books that I salvage, the books that I have been accumulating. And I hope that when that time comes, I might st I will probably start my book club again so that I can share whatever it is I am reading with you guys. So, the nails that I am wearing are a combination. I always wear my nails in combination because it's fun. I feel that people should just have fun with fashion. You know, I don't understand the idea of all of us having to look at the same. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't understand why people want to look the same. Because I feel like if God wanted all of us to look the same, he would have created us the same. You know, like when he creates twins, triplets, you know, quadruplets, quintuplets. I just don't understand it. I really, really don't get it. You know celebrate your individuality celebrate your individuality without hurting people if people cannot accept your individuality mm, mm, start again if people cannot accept your individuality it is on them that means that there's something about you and that there's something about your confidence you know you being comfortable in yourself that makes them feel comfortable it's on them it's not on you I know that it's difficult. It's a journey of confidence. It can actually take, it could take decades to get to that point where you actually feel comfortable, you know, to just walk in your own truth and be the person that you like, wear the kind of clothes you like, appear the way that you like. Mm -hmm. No, God never ever created us to be uniform, to look alike, to dress alike. So if you're an individual, if you're somebody who's feeling, mm, you want to express yourself, then why don't you? Especially if it's in a positive way. So, third time, last time, let me speak about the nails so that I can just go and charge my gas. And then, after charging my gas, this is what I'm drinking in case you're wondering. Lucozade Energy. I decided to buy this one because I never tried it before. It looked pretty and it also reminded me of a drink called Blue Magic. That they drink in Nigeria so that's the reason why I bought this Lucozade and obviously because I needed a pick-me-up as well you know because of the madness that's been going on it's just unnecessary madness it is just so unnecessary it is ridiculous so let me come closer so that you can actually see the nails because I know that my fashionistas they love this kind of stuff they love the DIY fashion DIY fashion to me is the best kind of fashion because you know you can do what you like you know you you, you do what peps you up you know you do what gingers you yeah you do what you feel like rather than somebody telling you how you're supposed to look I mean what's all that about 
Who are these people? Where did they come from to start telling us how we should look? <laughs> anyway, guys, make I show you the nails. Make the video not come too long. Otherwise, I'll be sitting here just trying to upload the video. So these ones, these ones were from Savers. These ones were from Primark. And... I'm sorry if they're not so pretty on the on the close-up. It's just it was so much glue. I was trying to fix it and I was like, oh, Lord, the amount of glue in these nails today, please. Because I'm I'm worried that when I'm smoking, I'll be smoking glue. I don't want to be smoking glue. So this one was from this one was from this one was from Poundland. Do you guys want me to show you the packet? Yeah, I should show you the pack. That's a, that's a better bet, actually, for me to just show you the pack. So, this one is number six. See, number six manicure. That's this pink one. Yeah, number six manicure. And that one is from Poundland. You guys know me. I love Poundland. Listen, even when I go into Poundland, and sometimes maybe they're not happy with me because of whatever I posted that day. I don't answer them <laughs> guys i don't answer them mm, because me i love poundland i love poundland and i know for a fact that even when my money arrives i'll be going to poundland odogo will be like babes babes you got some money you don't need to go to poundland <laughs> it's true mm, i don't go he will say it he will say it. you guys will hear him he will be like he'll be like babes you, you know you don't need to go to poundland right you got some dough I'm not talking about his money. I'm talking about my money because I'm step when I'm stepping in there, I'm stepping in with my own money. You get me? So when I go to Poundland, like when I'm rich, I go to Poundland and he'll be like, babes, you know, you got some cash here. You don't need to go to Poundland. I'll be like, no, I'm going to Poundland because I love it. Anyway, guys, so I've told you these ones were from, these ones were from Savers and these ones were from... But these yeah these ones were from savers and this one was from primark and this one was from poundland yeah so ah, guys see i put them all together because i like to mix them up i put them all together because you know i like to mix them up see now they're gonna be all over the place and these are the pointed gloss the pointed gloss ones i got these from primark yeah guys stick with me stick with me i'm showing you what i'm using i am showing you what i'm using guys it's not everybody that will actually show you exactly what they're using yeah you know that right it's not everybody that's going to show you exactly what they're using even when they come on camera guys i am honest i am showing you guys exactly what i mean these are the pointed gloss the pointed gloss ones i got these ones last year and i got them from primark i went to primark yesterday to get them to get the same one so that i could actually come and share with you guys but i didn't find the nails i don't know what happened i didn't find the nails i was looking for the nails looking for the nails but i didn't find the nails so i'll try again yeah they're very very pretty I'll, I'll have to pick them off the floor don't worry hmm? they're very very pretty and you can use them to do your combination nails i call them combination nails so if you're one of my spartas if you come back for a continuity video on nails i will just say this is these are the combination nails that i'm wearing today yeah so for those of you who are, who are my spartas when you come up to see the continuity what you see I, i'm so stressed out i can't even speak english today when you come back next time to see the continuity video on nails i'll be talking about combination nails because as you guys who are my spotters know you know every summer i'm about the nails yeah because summer I feel like every summer I make a bit more effort, just like everybody else in England. When the sun's when the sun comes out, our swag comes out. I'm beginning to feel better now. Uh -huh. So, do I have to pick these nails off the floor? Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. 
so anyway guys that's it on the nails video i don't like my videos to be too long that's why i love to do shorts i love to do shorts because you just do the short mm -mm -mm, 60 seconds one minute you finish it and then you go and you do whatever it is else you want to do with your day so this is the super drug bag for those of you who love when i do the bag come back to see the super drug bag i don't know when i'm actually going to do the super drug bag but i i was thinking of actually adding some more things to the bag and then i thought that's going to be cheating yeah i i want to keep it real the way i have right from the very beginning i'll just keep it real for those of you who like the bag who love it when i do the bag and you want to see what's in the super drug bag please come back like follow subscribe to see the bag to all the people who have subscribed thank you very much regardless of why you subscribed i i just believe that you subscribe because you like me or you love me and you like the things that i share and i know for a fact that even when people come for drama they end up actually you know experiencing some sort of transformation yeah it's true it does happen some people might actually just come for the drama or they might just come to you know drop a spliffy comment or whatever but at the end of the day they end up falling in love with me is the kind of person i am yeah it is the kind of person i am people might hate me in the beginning but some of them end up falling in love with me okay babies so for my fashionistas they like to know what I've got on. They like to know where I got my stuff from. These earrings are Rita Ora at Primark. And they were 450. That's four pounds fifty, not four hundred and fifty pounds. <laughs> Before you guys start shouting, because I know some people some people don't even hear the whole information and they will start shouting. So these this is it. Rita Ora at Primark and these are the earrings yeah i think these are very very cute i think you can wear these with everything because i just saw them yesterday and i thought they're loops you know loops with a twist i love that thank you miss riri aura thank you for that mm -mm 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 -mm. much love yeah and um the glasses the glasses are mine my spotters you know i've had these for ages i don't even remember where i got them from where did I get them? I think it's AliExpress. Yeah, I think it's AliExpress. Yeah. Because I used to be on them 24 hours a day. I used to be on them buying, 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 buying. And uh, my hair, my hair is my beloved hair. My beloved hair. I love this hair. I love this hair. This is the kind of hair that I love. This is from Cosmetic Hut here in Kilburn. Patronize them. Go there. When you go there, you will see mommy, you will like her. She's a nice woman, you will enjoy her. She's very, very nice, you will enjoy her. Cosmetic heart in Kilburn. Uh, jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. My infinity, my infinity necklace was from Monet. Monet at Brent Cross. I've had this for, I've had this for the longest. I've had this for the longest. Uh, somebody bought this for me as a birthday present. So, what else? This one, I don't remember where I got this one from. Leggings, I got these from Primark. If you go to Primark in summer, you'll be amazed, obviously, because they have so many beautiful things. And they're cost-effective as well. And my denim jacket is from one of my guys here in Kilburn High Street. I tend to forget the name of their shop, but it's the one that is close to Classy Chicks. I think I covered everything. Yeah. I think I covered everything. Oh, I, I am pretty amazing. I am pretty amazing as a human being. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. I love you. I love you. I try to do the best that I can under these circumstances. Yeah. For those people who, you know, talk, talk up and down, talk up and down. I always say to them, I don't know what's going to happen to you tomorrow, but maybe if you put yourself in my position and then see how you would deal with this situation that i'm facing as a human being and then you can get back to me okay anyway guys 
love you have a nice day i cannot promise you that i'm going to do any other videos today because i know i tend to do normally i tend to do maybe five to seven video videos a day like video shorts but when i do the vlogs i can't do that many i have to reduce it because obviously it takes time for me to upload the videos okay guys my target is 1000 subscribers yes i have doubled the number i have doubled the number i have doubled the number because we did not reach the target last month this is now a new month we're in june happy new month in case i didn't greet you or in case you missed the greeting we're in june now so i have doubled the number please can you get me to 1000 spartas before mid-june it's easy to do I mean, you could even do it in a day if you wanted. Anyway, that's it, guys. And for those of you who feel that you have to speak on behalf of the man, I really don't know why. I don't know why you feel you have to speak on his behalf. Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about me. If you're worried about me, you can subscribe. <laughs> I mean, if you're really worried about me, just subscribe to my business. Mm, subscribe to my parole that I'm doing, you know, and support the girl. Mm, forget about the boy and support the girl. <laughs> I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. Who never fails. Who who never fails? I am a God who never fails. I am a God who never fails. I am a God who never fails. Who never fails? Who never fails? Who never fails? Who never fails? <laughs> I birthday is next month, guys. I'll see him next month. Love you. Content creators are we? Hello, Sparta people. Guys, I'm definitely on the right track. Remember, I said I go where the good Lord leads me. Guys, do you remember the last video? Don't worry, if you don't remember, I'm actually going to link it. Do you guys remember the last video when I said when I come back to the prayer garden, it will be in full bloom? And can you guys remember how this prayer garden used to be? And remember all of the things that I said I asked Elohim for, that I wanted the prayer garden to look the way I envisioned it in my mind. Guys, can you see the prayer garden? For those of you who are my Spartas, for those of you real life people who Sparta me, guys, can you see the grace of God in action? Guys, look at the prayer garden. Remember when people used to come and and poo here. I'm sorry, Abba. No, I can't avoid using the word poo. Anyway, guys, see. Guys, look at God's glory. Guys, it happened before all of us. Look at the prayer garden. I don't know if they'll let me pick the flowers or not. But when I left home, I didn't know that this is where I was going to. Guys, look at the prayer garden. Look. Guys, there's nothing that you would ask him that he would not give to you. Guys, look at the prayer garden. When I thought of the prayer garden, this is exactly how I envisioned it to be, you know, in full bloom, thriving. Guys, prayer works. Prayer works for anything, anything at all that you want. Guys, this is real life, guys. This is real life, guys. This is real life, guys. Please go and look for the related videos. I'm going to link... I'm going to link the other videos. I'm going to try and link as many of the videos. I mean, the garden is in such full bloom that you can't actually walk in it now. But guys, look. Guys, look at the prayer garden. Guys, this is the handwork of God. Nobody has tended this garden. Nobody has done anything to this garden. See? It's, this is God. This is God in action. Hmm? He does it so that he can prove his supremacy in the land of the living. That he is God and he is never changing. He will keep his covenants. 
even up until everlasting guys look at the prayer garden i used to come here sometimes i would be crying because of the state it would be in you know just to get at me people would come and they would put all sorts of things especially poo but then again they say that it's actually it's manure isn't it it's a fertilizer so you know it actually he actually used it to his glory guys look at the prayer garden this is this is a natural garden it hasn't been tended it hasn't been tended nobody has done anything to this garden if you don't believe me you can actually see the videos where i'm actually praying where i'm saying elohim please bless this garden for me let it be the way that i want it to be guys look at the prayer garden and in the last video i said that next time i come to the prayer garden that is going to be in full bloom i will follow my elohim all the days of my life because he has never disappointed me and he has never let me down this is exactly how i envisioned this prayer garden to be and i know that when i come is going to be even better i mean look at it it's thriving it's so pretty it's absolutely gorgeous look at it this is the handwork of god guys in the land of the living it happens so that everybody can see so that you can know that truly that he is god and he reigns even up until everlasting i mean look at this god this is a real life miracle that all of us are witnessing mm? remember when i used to come to this prayer garden and i mean oh, gosh <laughs> he is truly amazing thank you elohim i'm so grateful thank you for answering my prayer guys i really hope more of you would do prayer gardens i really do you know i really really do i mean look at this it's amazing it's absolutely it's absolutely amazing this is the handwork of god so for those of you who believe that god doesn't exist this is it this is a real life miracle for you to actually see the handwork of god i invite you to look for the other videos you know the other videos of the prayer garden you know the very first video that i posted where i was talking about it you know look at the prayer garden look <laughs> it's amazing it's absolutely amazing uh, about am i allowed to take something home i don't know if i'm allowed to take anything home <laughs> guys look at the prayer garden oh guys look at the prayer garden let me let, let me just leave the flowers to thrive Guys, look at the prayer garden. <laughs> Thank God. Oh. Mm. Abba Father. He's truly amazing. He is absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness, I'm so chuffed. This is exactly how I wanted it to be. Yeah. When I went online and I saw the concept of prayer gardens. Guys, you can come here and you can pray. There's absolutely no reason why... I mean, the garden is so pretty now that I don't want to walk in it, you know, to ruin the beauty of it. But you can still come and sit around here, walk around here and pray to God because the presence of God is definitely here. <laughs> Guys, if you like this content, if you like, you know, if you like this kind of stuff, if you're walking with the Father yourself, if you're on a spiritual journey with God, please like, comment and subscribe so that you can see more of the goodness of God manifested in the land of the living to his glory. We have a God who is unchanging. He will never ever change. His covenant is yes and amen, even up until everlasting. Guys, <laughs> guys, God, God is good. God is good. He's exciting. He's exciting. Mm? he will make you fall in love with him he will he will make you fall in love with him come to this prayer garden come to this prayer garden to witness this miracle guys guys look at the prayer garden it's absolutely amazing look at the prayer garden yeah? look, look, look 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 even even these edges even these edges you know that were totally abandoned look they're all blooming they're all thriving look <laughs> and people say there is no god hmm? Hmm? Just, just look at the prayer garden guys look at the prayer garden okay 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 guys so that's it if you like this wonderful video i believe that a lot of people are going to be blessed by this video because obviously the presence of god is here i mean we're here in the church 
Mm. For those unbelievers, this is actually a church. <laughs> Okay, guys, have yourself a wonderful day. Please like my video. Elohim, please can they get me to 1 million subscribers before December this year so that we can do more wonderful work. Thank you so much. I'm grateful, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. I love you, guys. I love you, guys. Let me take a picture in the prayer garden. Hi guys, how are you doing? Morning and afternoon and evening, depending on where you are in the world and depending on when you get to see this post. So guys, I'm in the African fabric shop. I want to get some, I want to come back and get some African wax. Yeah, I want to come and get some African wax. So guys, I'm just doing this to give myself an idea of what it is I want to get next time I come here. Hmm? I asked her to help me. She said she's busy. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hmm? Guys, African Fabric Shop. What are you guys called? Brontex Fabrics. Yeah, that's true. They're called Brontex Fabrics and they're in Cricklewood. This is Cricklewood, yeah. Yeah. This Cricklewood is, uh, yeah. So, guys, I'm just, oh. Please, if you're somebody that's looking for a job and you've got time, to be following me about when I'm outside to film me. Contact me, I'll pay you money. This is the second time I've made this advert. Mm? Our people say, chop alone, die alone, okay? So I don't want to chop alone because I don't want to die alone. Yeah, so this is Rontex Fabric in Kilburn. What, oh, in Cricklewood? Yeah. Cricklewood is not far from Kilburn, my love. So if you're in, you know, if you're coming that way, you'll find it. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to get some more fabric and then I will do a video showing you guys the stuff that I made from the fabric that I bought from them, okay? Their prices are reasonable. You know that one that I wanted with the Mercedes logo? Yeah. Was that six yards? Yeah, that was six yards and oh. it's 29. It's 29. That's 29 British pounds. Do you know how much does that translate in Naira? Do you know? okay but they can do the rates anyway you guys can do the math yeah so guys i've been coming here for a while you know i always pass here i always pass here the other day i came in here i like what they've got i believe that they've got a good selection but what i'm actually going to do to prove this to you guys in real life is i'll get some things some colors that i like these are the Nigerian designs. Yeah, that's uh, you see, if if somebody had filmed us, it would have been easier because now I've started sweating. So she's showing me, she's showing me opener. You know, they've got the classics. This is classic uh, African wax. This one is called opener. You have flying horse as well. Flying horse, like it. This one. Yeah, if you know flying horse, you know. Yeah, that's flying horse. Okay yeah i'm teaching her this, <laughs> most of us our moms had flying horse my mom yeah most of us of my generations our moms would have had all of the trending rappers at that time you have hollandis no don't, she doesn't have hollandis so guys this one is called flying horse i'm gonna get flying horse when i come this one this one i used to have it because my mom gave me her one because that was that used to be the idea back in the day that you know, when you have nice Hollandis or nice wax, you pass it down to your daughters. So it used to be a thing. I don't know if they still do it. Yeah, this one. Yeah, they still do yeah, it. Yeah, they so, have it. so, pardon? They have it, yes. Yeah, this is veritable wax Hollandis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you buy it, you would tie it, you wear it, wear it until you pass it down to your kids, if that's what you want to do. It's quality. And this one is, this is Hollandis as well. Yeah. Uh, this is Visco. You guys, know, if you're in Nigeria, you'll know Visco fabrics. They make a lot of nice wax. Okay, and this is the one that I came for. So, that's Julius. Yeah, it's Hollandis. called Julius. Yeah. Okay, so this is the one that I actually saw on display. I wanted to buy, if not for the fact that I've already bought other things today. This is what I would have bought. I'm glad I'm doing this video so that when I come back, I actually know the ones that I want to buy. I actually want this one and I'm going to be making some stuff out of this. So guys, if you like this kind of thing, like, <laughs> comment, subscribe to actually see 
what I make out of this fabric, okay? Use 29 English pounds. Hmm? Okay, Charlie? Mm, okay, look. All right, my dear, thank you so much. I will be coming back. I have said it on video, so. <laughs> I've seen some videos, so definitely I'm going to be coming back. Guys, I love African wax. So. Mm? By the time I'm finished, they'll be designing African wax on cars. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe for more real life people, for more great content like this. I am your girl, A for Love, and I am in Rontex Fabrics in Cricklewood. Uh, see, she didn't want to enter video, but she's giving me audio. <laughs>